Welcome back everyone to another video and today we're going to take a look at the new Game Boy Advance emulator for our PS Vita and this is version 0.8 and I'm running this emulator off my PS Vita 1000 the Gen 1 and it's 3.73 version with H on Core 2 and I'm having no issues whatsoever so uh, there are two ways to install this emulator the first one is going to your homebrew browser and that is basically an application that allows you to download a bunch of emulators, ports, utilities via Wi-Fi directly from the internet onto your system without connecting to your PC. And it unzips all the files and installs it right away. And it works just fine. I just tested all these different games and emulators and it works perfectly. If you haven't already installed that app, I do have a video on how to do that in the description down below. And let's start the homebrew browser. This is going to be the first part of the video. And the emulator is going to be your fourth option under the category new. It's called MGBA. Let's select that. And you can press download. And it's going to start downloading the VPK. After it's going to unzip the files. And then it's going to install the emulator directly onto your Vita. No problems and it's pretty quick depending on your internet speed there we go it's finished and now we want to go back home and you should see a new app with the old school uh, Game Boy Advance there the blue one now let's go ahead and start this game and I'll show you a demo here real quick and it goes directly into my GBA ROM folder and I have a bunch of ROMs here already from my PSP and let's start this one here because that one does not work on my PSP for some reason and this one is called Pokemon Flora Sky very interesting can't wait to give this a shot but yeah it's working just fine and you can change the way the screen looks uh, with square you can do full screen, you can go back to that, or show the uh, the Game Boy a little bit, which is very nostalgic. I love that. So now let's go on to our PC and see how we can download this uh, VPK and install it via USB. First thing we're going to do is go to our Vita shell, start that application, and you want to press start. And you want to make sure your USB device is selected to SD to Vita if you have the uh, adapter installed with a micro SD card. And then you want to go down to select button and make sure that's enabled to USB. Once you have that all set, you want to press select. And you want to connect your Vita to your computer via USB cable. Here we go. USB connected. All right, so here is our USB drive H. This is our PS Vita drive. And if you haven't already created a folder called VPK, go ahead and do that. And now go to the first link in the description down below. That will take you to mgba.io. And we want to go under Homebrew and click on the PlayStation Vita link. That will start the download right away. Show in folder and we want to right click and extract here perfect now we open up that folder and you want to grab this mgba.vpk file and you want to drag that into your vpk folder there it is and now we can go back to our ps vita and install the app all right so we're back on our vita we're gonna exit out of USB mode and I'm actually going to uninstall this app delete it perfect let's go back to our Vita shell alright sorry about that I had to get some lighting in here because it was just uh, a little too dark we want to go to our UXO folder and find your VPK folder there we go and there is our mgba.vpk file you want to select that and install package
There we go. Let's go back home. And there is the app. MGBA app. Perfect. And let's confirm that we got our folders in our data. So let's go back to Vita Shell here. And you want to go into data. And there is our MGBA folder. Perfect. This is where we're going to create a new folder called ROMs, or you can say GBA ROMs like I did. And this is where we're going to have all of our games. So that's what we're going to do next on our PC. Okay, so let's enable USB mode again. And now we go back onto our computer. Let's go into our data folder, go to MGBA, right click, new folder, or you can select this option up here, new folder and rename it ROMs or GBA ROMs or games or whatever you'd like to call it. Now go to your second link in the description down below and I'll take you to downloadroms.io and you can select any game you'd like to have on your emulator here. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's see here, let's do the Super Mario Bros. 3. And now we can click on save game it will start the download and these games should be fairly easy to to download they take a few seconds they're no more than like 10 megabytes this one's 2.3 megabytes let's show in our folder back into our downloads and I'm gonna right click and extract all hit extract and there is our GBA file. Now we can just drag that into our GBA ROMs folder right here. And you should see Super Mario or the game you just downloaded in here. And it should be a GBA file. Now let's go back and run that game on our emulator. All right, so let's disconnect from USB connection. Let's go back home. Let's close Vita Shell out. Go to our emulator. To run it and there it is Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros 3 let's run that damn that was quick wow this is a lot of fun guys and you can choose from two games from this uh, ROM that is so cool and now we're gonna take a look at the different controls here see how this works and these are just your basic left and right for the uh, emulator or when you're playing the game the, the default controls but we have options with our triangle and we have unpause save state load state take screenshot configure reset game and exit game now if you press square you're gonna have different screen options there's your full screen back to this one and back to the nostalgic look of the Game Boy Advance and this thing is running very smooth I'm so excited to play this game I haven't played this one in ages and I keep thinking uh, I'm playing on the Super Nintendo here so I kept pressing uh, I kept pressing uh, friggin square I'm used to running with square not with uh, with a circle here it's kind of weird. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever or suggestions on how I can improve on my videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one. And yes, I just did that commentary while playing, and it's very difficult because my arms are burning like a son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you guys on the next one.